I live in a state called West Bengal in India, and this incident took place when I was in the ninth grade. I lived in a four-story building with my family, and our apartment was on the first floor. There was this festival going on around our locale called the Durja Puja, which continues for almost a week in our state. It's one of the greatest festivals here, so everyone used to stay out late and spend much more time in the local pandals. On one such day, a rumor started spreading around the town about some thieves who broke into someone's house and beat the homeowner until he became unconscious. The police were on the case, so none of us cared that much about the incident because we thought the criminals were bound to get arrested as soon as possible, until one day. My parents and I returned from the puja late at night. Just like every other day, we had our dinner and went to bed. That night, I couldn't sleep well. I was tossing and turning, but finally, I fell asleep. It was around 3 or 4 a.m. when I woke up to the sound of something being sawed. My room was at the very end of the house, and it had a balcony attached to it. I could hear something from there, and definitely knew that someone was sawing the railings of my balcony. My heart stopped. Now, here comes the twist. I still can't figure out what really happened that day. I don't know if it happened out of fear or from something else. I could not move an inch. My body was stone cold, but I was still sweating like a pig. My eyes were wide open, and I couldn't blink. This continued for the next five minutes. Each minute seemed like an hour to me. I could still hear the sawing sound grinding in my eardrums. I wanted to move, but I couldn't. I feared that this might be the thieves. They are definitely going to enter my room and take me away with them. They are going to kill my family. They are going to take everything with them. While I was busy thinking all of this, I suddenly heard someone whistling right by my ear. I tried to turn my head, but I couldn't. Finally, after five whole minutes, I could move. And suddenly, the sound stopped. I looked around my surroundings, and to my surprise, there was nobody around. I got off my bed and grabbed my baseball bat, but before doing anything hasty, I felt the need to wake up my mom. I told her what happened, and she was terrified. Both of us quietly went outside to look for the thieves, but there was no one around. My mother immediately called the local security, and they went to search for the thieves. That night, alone in my room, I couldn't sleep at all, so I went to my parents' room to sleep. The next day, we found out that the house just next to ours had been robbed by some thieves when the owners were not in the house. I was terrified all over again. But I got even more scared when I asked my mother if she'd heard any kind of sound last night, and she replied with a no. My parents' room was right next to mine, and my mother is a light sleeper. That's why it was easy for me to wake her up at night. To this day, I still wonder who it actually was that had whistled right by my ear, and what would have happened if I'd never moved. <laughs>